My name is Katira Setsok. I'm the director of the Extra Isle. It's a show about weddings. Ugh, don't you guys just like really love weddings? I love weddings. I love them. Just planning them and the love and the air. I don't. <laughs> I don't. They're stupid and boring and a waste of time. Well, you're stupid and boring and a waste of time. Plus, funerals are just sad and depressing and... and sad. <laughs> you are sad and depressing. Me? Why are you going to talk to me like this? I'm loving it. Okay, guys, stop. stop. Go away. <laughs> Save that for later, if you know what I'm saying. <sighs> All right, guys, enjoy the show. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. All right, this is Mitchell and Gerald coming at you with our family career documentary project final for VizCom, starring my cousin, Margot. She's a big time wedding planner, right, luxury wedding planner and coordinator. This will be a day in the life of what it takes to plan as well as coordinate the most important day in some people's lives. Hello world, I am Margot Pierce, the luxury wedding guru. We are here today at the Santa Clarita Community Center, which is a bit more low key than I'm used to, but hey, I take time out of my busy schedule of special clients to attend to my community. So we all want to know, who's the most famous couple you've organized for? Oh, probably Daniel Craig and Rachel Weiss. When was that? A few years ago, give or take. They got married 11 years ago. How old are you? <laughs> Excuse you. So, how long do you usually work with each of your clients? Oh, the whole process takes months and up to a year or more, but it is so important that I do absolutely everything. Yes! What is Priscilla doing here? She's that local funeral planner you mentioned earlier, right? Mm-hmm. So you two should be like sworn enemies or something? We are. She's had it out for me ever since elementary school when I overthrew her as the tetherball oh. champ. Priscilla is the nastiest, pettiest skink that's ever walked this earth. I was just kidding. Hey! Why do you happen to be here when I have a huge booking at five? <laughs> You're not the only event organizer in town. I get plenty of business, if not more than you do. A lot more people die than get married. Also, it's called a multi-purpose community center for a reason, right? Trash! Uh, I'll be rule of clients for life. Kim Kardashian has you married, what, three times in the past 10 years? Colin Cowie, the celebrity wedding planner, is never out of work. Well, Kim's kind of out of your caliber, don't you think? Also, you can't just make people stop dying. Watch me. <laughs> oh, and also, you smell like death. <laughs> Did you come up with that all on your own? I'm proud. <laughs> Bye, Marjorie. Marjorie? Me, personally, I wouldn't let that slide. <laughs> Whatever, just edit all that out, Jared. Come on, his name's Gerald. Show her, Jerry. Yeah. Ah! 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 Gerald Fascinating! Continue filming. The couple should be here soon. Look, here is where all the magic happens. Each wedding I organize has its very own theme, and today's is Wild West themed. A choice for sure. <laughs> What's wrong? <clears throat> um, my itinerary says Gina and Tess are today at five, but Gia and Selena are today at five. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect dramatic story arc for a documentary. Seems more like a reality prank TV show to me. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Hello, your coordinator, Margot Pierce. Hi, nice to meet you. Whoa, where are we going? Oh, your bridal plan. It's a big, big surprise, but I promise it won't take long. <laughs> Don't let anybody in. Oh, how could this happen? <laughs> I'm Dean 
hallway, and this is Tess, like Tesla with two S's, like Beyonce. Hmm, I do not see your name on this year RSVP slip, sirs. Maybe the Google Maps was wrong, Bev. We've been here a few times before. Can you call your boss? Uh, yes, one moment. <clears throat> Never seen her in 20 years of being a security guard here. Right, thanks, Drew. Bev, what did you get us into? I didn't do anything to you. Didn't even know what the you were getting married at. Well, now it looks like you don't either. Don't get pissy with me, Jean. Hey, Mr. Bossman, this is some BS. All right, now, don't get aggressive. I don't want to resort to removing you myself. Look through your papers again, and you'll find us, buddy. All right, Gerald. Let's direct these two in the right direction, hmm? Roger. Look what you did. They're taking us where we need to go. She's right, and that would be off these premises. <sighs> Unless you're here for Jan and Selena's union, you must go. Yes. No. You don't understand. She is mine. Did you get it? Yes, we got it. Nice, dude. Let's go find Marco. <laughs> times. Ooh. There's some obvious foul play here, Margo. Priscilla? Yeah, obviously. I just need some proof. There remains dignity in our rivalry. Ugh. I'd rather die than ever face the embarrassment of this situation and then subsequently die. Ugh. I haven't dealt with imperfection in so long. <laughs> you can't die? Priscilla would officiate your burial. That doesn't help. You can't just let that happen. Ugh. Well, you are kind of insufferable, cuz. I know. But it's just because I was one of those gifted kids in school and my mom didn't give me the affection I needed as a child. <laughs> Aunt Sally's the worst. It's true. Mitchell, I appreciate your sympathy. You're gonna do great things in life, you know. But I have nothing else. <gasps> do I actually have to use my psych degree now? Mm. <laughs> I don't deserve this right. I mean, I make people's dreams come true, and I'm always so humble about it. Oh, and Jared, you are going to be a great cinematographer one day. If that's what you want to be, you could be whatever you'd like. Wow, thanks, Margo. I was shooting bureau for the project and caught this. Silly Priscilla digging through the trash. What's that paper she's holding? When was this? Wow, just now. Oh, that motherfucker! <laughs> hey, the plan always seems to work. Things just seem to always go right for you. You! Uh, nothing! Give me that! You'll have to kill me first! I'm fully capable of that right now! Do not forget. 
forget. Terrestrial, they were so contrasting, I separated them automatically. It's based on cowboys and aliens. What? Cowboys and aliens, as in the 2011 cult classic, Cowboys and Aliens, starring Daniel Craig as Jake Lonergan. Okay. Okay, I think you may be using the term cult classic incorrectly, because four people do not count as a cult fall. Tess hasn't. Three. I think it sounds sick. Thank you! I I thought I messed up. Well, that we did. On any? Yeah. 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 Oh, you know, I, I, oh, you know what? All I want is to be your wife. It doesn't matter when, where, or who's watching. That's all I need. Yeah. Right now? Right now is good too. How about no? Uh, you wanna look now? I, I can't. I've, I've been unfaithful. <laughs> when you need it. What? Right. We don't go on a break. That time. Oh, you know. With who? Cole. The barista? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Contract. The one right behind you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 